welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be going over the benefits of creating digital art, what you'll need to get started, and a step-by-step -step look of me creating my first digital art piece. The best part about the step-by-step -step look is you do not need to know how to draw. So, if this is something that interests you, please stay tuned and let's get started. There are three great benefits to creating digital art. One of them being there is really no cleanup. You're not left with a bunch of mess. You just have to worry about charging your iPad or tablet afterwards. So very simple, very easy uh, and clean <laughs> uh, art medium. The next is the cost. So you really don't have to worry about spending a whole lot of money in order to create digital art. You really just need enough money to get started. Um, and then you're kind of set from there unless there's any repairs or things that you have to fix later on down the line. The very last benefit, which is huge to me, is going to be the amount of space. So I just moved into a new spot. Um, it's beautiful and I love it, but I really don't have a lot of room for any of my work. Okay, so I'm here now in my new home with a lot of work everywhere and I have nowhere to put it. Um, not only that, my different materials, paints, um, and blank canvases that I use take up a lot of space. So let's get into what you'll need to create digital art. Um, you really just need an iPad or a tablet of some sort uh, for this step-by-step -step, um, and for the remainder of the digital art series. I'm gonna be using my iPad Pro. Um, it's pretty old, I've had it for quite some time now, um, but it's 9.7 inches. I do rem recommend something this size. Um, anyways, you also need an Apple Pencil, so yeah, <laughs> uh, you need an Apple Pencil. The next thing that you'll need is the Procreate app. That's what I'm using for this digital art series. So the Procreate app is $10 um, in the App Store and I love it. Started to the fun part and start creating this first ever digital art project. All right guys, so this is what Procreate will look like in the App Store. Go ahead and download it and we can start having some fun. So the first screen you're gonna see is Gallery View. This is where you'll house all of your past projects and current ones. Um, and then in the top right, there'll be a little plus sign. This is how you start a new project. Um, there's gonna be different dimensions. I'm just gonna start off with whatever. I just started off with a random square. So you can start off with anything. Procreate does come with pre-installed brushes that I think you should totally try out. Um, use all of them and use them with different pressure. So press hard on your screen, press soft on your screen. I try a bunch of different techniques, um, but there's all kinds of brushes that will mimic real art mediums so anything from ink to airbrush to paint um, to dry brushes watercolor super super cool um, not only that they also have different textures so you'll see me playing around with different texture in this um, with the texture brushes the dope part is there are other tools so you will have a smudge tool it kind of looks like a little finger um, you can blend with any different brush effect. So if you're using an actual brush tool, you can mimic that same brush when you're blending. So it can look really seamless, just like as if you were working with that medium. So now I'm starting my new project. Um, you'll see me pull up the color, color wheel quite a bit. So Procreate allows you to work with color and they provide you with a color disc. So just so you guys know the basics, the outer ring is the hue. The inner ring is going to let you choose your saturations. The best part about the color feature is there is palette. So you can create your own palette, um, which is featured on the bottom right of that little color wheel. Um, so you can create your own color palettes and really, really easy. You can just delete colors or add colors whenever you want um, you can even export export and share your color palettes which is really cool so if you want to share with friends uh, color palettes that you create you can do that or share with students you can do that so yeah 
there are a lot of different tools within procreate i'm not going to go over all of them but there's so many different things that you can use from masking to clipping mask if you're at all maybe familiar with photoshop or photography you're going to be very familiar with the layers on procreate so um procreate does give you layers you've probably seen me switching back and forth from different layers already so far but the layers will allow you to do so much more right so you can click on a layer and eliminate things that maybe you don't want to show in your piece um, but it won't hinder other things that you've already been working on so i've already been working on the eyes i've been working on drawing uh little pieces of added fur i've been working on the nose and so many different pieces the tongue but i want to go back in and erase part of this initial background so i don't want this like living room background so i erased it in the second layer where i have the photo of the of xerxes so where i have the photo of xerxes is in the second layer and i erased everything around him but i have built in fur on another layer so it's not going to erase the fur that i've already added in the other layer so really really cool feature um that's a good example of a way that you could use it but there's still so many other ways that, that you could use it i also created another layer for the background um i'm gonna put in a whole new color so you can hold on to a layer and drag it up or down so if you decide to start a layer layer later um and have a cool creative idea you can always drag in and drop it which is really dope so yeah tons of layers at this point um I've already done a, a lot of the basics, so I'm using different brush tools to draw his nose. Um, I'm blending a lot. So I do this in like my normal art routine. So when I'm when I first draw something, I then obviously add paint over it. I always brush first and then I blend. So I always apply the paint first and then I blend and I'm doing the same thing in the digital um, piece. So I'm applying all the color first, then I'm going in and blending. I do this all the time. This is like my number one thing that I use, that I do all the time with any medium that I've ever used is I go in, I do the basics and then I go in and blend and then I add details, right? So I'm then going to add like little white specks to make his nose look kind of wet and realistic. His tongue as well. I'm adding in tiny, tiny, tiny little details. You can zoom in super close, which is awesome. That's uh, also why I'm kind of falling in love with this whole digital space is that They've made art so easy and so tiny and and like you can do so, so much more. Um, and that's probably why you've seen crazy digital art. Man, there's so many amazing artists out there, but this is a really cool tool to explore and have fun with. I was very standoffish to the idea of digital art for a very, very long time. But now that I'm actually jumping into it, it's super fun and it's really cool and all of the limitations you have with the real physical art world you don't have with the digital art space it, it allows you to do literally everything you can hack all the art pieces you want <laughs> um so yeah i'm gonna do a cool uh loteria kind of card theme for this piece so i took xerxes and turned him into a loteria card it took a while to kind of figure out what color I wanted to do. I wasn't sure, and I was playing around with different hues, but I ended up going with orange. I felt like it was really fun and lively. Putting in airbrush textures to it to make it kind of look a little more rustic and and uh, fitting for the Loteria card. And yeah, and this is the finished product. It's really cool. I love it. Um, I made it for my friend John, who unfortunately uh, lost Xerxes not too long ago. So this is a memorial piece, but 
uh, yeah, the dope part is you can export this piece. So I went ahead and as soon as I was done with it, obviously it's like probably 1130 at night or 12 at night. And I exported the piece and sent it directly to him right away. So man, it makes, um, it makes everything so much easier. So create art, share love, have fun. And yeah, let's, uh, see you next time.